Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. Before we get into the readings, I want to let you guys know that we are going to be releasing the pendulum, um, the pendulum gift box. And what it is, it's basically a pendulum that has been specifically charged and ritualized. It has, it comes with some herbs and some crystals in it so that you can only be able to speak directly to your spirit guides or ancestors as well as a necklace that comes with it and a crystal, um, crystal little jar, if you guys can see here, uh, for your protection. So if you guys are definitely interested, go look at our online store. We're going to be releasing that next week. Uh, give me one second. Let me check very quickly. It's going to drop on uh, Friday, May the 21st. Uh, on our online store, like I said, and it is only limited. Uh, so we only made 50 of these um, basically first come, first serve. So if you guys are interested, definitely check that out next week. Let's get into your reading areas. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to be using two different decks, one to represent you and your energies areas, and the other one to represent the person or uh, partner that you're currently dealing with. So let's see what spirit has for you guys. Let's get into it. Uh, let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of May 2021 in regards to love and romance, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also, you guys, don't mind my nails. <laughs> Haven't had the opportunity to get them done. Uh, and I probably have wax in them because I was working with some blood candles earlier. Uh, it is right now, it is 3.41 a.m. So, yes. And I am extremely, extremely pumped right now. So, excuse if I'm a little bit energetic. Uh, it's only because, like I said, I was working with some candles. And um, anything that has to do with magical workings gets my blood going. It gets it pumping. So you guys already know. Anyways, Aries, how are you doing, my lovely psych? Hope you guys are doing amazing. I know there's a lot of changes that you guys have been experiencing. I have a ton of Aries friends um, and people that I know that are Aries um, that are going through major transitions. So I hope the transitions are good. I hope you're fully embracing them as well as taking advantage of these new opportunities coming your way, Aries. Okay, let's get into your reading. Also, very quick shout out to my girl for sending me this beautiful crystal. You guys can see it here. Uh, thank you so very much, my lovely. I will keep your information private, <laughs> but you are appreciated. Okay, let's get into it. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirits, show me the energies of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love, and romance. Oh, okay. All right, let's get into it. Your first card is the star card. So the star card representing getting a lot of attention, Aries. This could be something, I don't want to say unusual. I know Aries are very captivating people. But the star card also represents aligning yourself to the planet or the planets assisting you at the present time when we're talking about relationships, when we're talking about love. So it could be that you're going through a transition where love is very important or something that is going to take priority. Perhaps you've needed to nurture um, or embrace that side to you, Aries. So I definitely see that. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with Aquarian energy. It doesn't have to be their sun sign. It could be their moon, uh, Venus, or rising. The next card here is the Page of Cups. So again, we're talking about emotions. We're talking about love, quick movement. Okay. Five of Pentacles here with the Page of Swords and the Five of Swords. Okay. Aries, they're telling you don't get so much into your ego or your pride. Um, you may be feeling a bit like someone's caught you off guard. There is definitely a feeling of wanting, kind of like, like telling spirit, where, where do I go? Do I make a right? Do I make a left type of energy? Uh, a lot of things are happening and they're happening quick. When we're talking about love, we have the arrows of love here, the eight of wands. Uh, right at the center, page of cups. Page could represent a bit of immature type of energy in regards to your emotions. So this could be a little bit foreign to you. It could be almost like there has been some type of epiphany, some type of 
like aha moment where things are starting to make sense for some of you guys. And it's almost like the more you're finding your path or your road uh, towards some type of achievement, it's like all of a sudden you get all these distractions or people giving you attention or a lot or even feeling like you're aligning yourself to your higher purpose. Um, but at the same time, there is like almost a feeling of I see you watching and looking at someone with the five of swords. It could indicate a bit of ego or pride being involved. This could be kind of like the situation where you feel strongly about someone and. Um, now, when I say strongly, I don't mean like if you're in a relationship right now, obviously you've been with them for a while. We're not talking about that. We're talking about this revelation of understanding that there is a purpose why you met a specific person. And all the while you're trying to get through these emotions or trying to figure out exactly what it is that you want moving forward, there's almost like a resistance that's happening right now because you're kind of questioning is it fate? Is it destiny? Or is it just coincidence? So I see you guys very much like wanting to embrace it, but at the same time, you fear that if you embrace it, you're going to end up getting hurt. Now, the five of pentacles can also indicate feeling of like this person that you're dealing with or maybe dealing with in the month of May is almost like they give you, but they don't give you enough to kind of go off of that and understand, yes, they are interested or kind of has you a bit confused right now, to be honest. And I do see you looking at their social medias or looking at what they're doing and they're doing the same thing. Um, but I feel that with the five of swords, you guys are not being completely honest or open towards each other. And I feel the reason for this is because there's fear involved and vibrating from a ego uh, type of energy. So again, it's like, well, I'm going to wait for them to show me that they're interested before I move forward and put more effort, that type of energy. So it's like a never ending cycle because they're feeling the same way. What they're telling you here, Aries, is things are happening and unfolding because it's fate. So listen to that. All right, let's see what your partner or person of interest is currently dealing with. What are their intentions, emotions, or feelings towards this connection with Aries? Whoa, okay. Thank you, Spirit. So we're going to take these cards as they come. So they have the Seven of Swords, okay. The Knight of Wands. The Four of Cups. The seven of cups, we have two sevens here, you guys, 10 of cups and the judgment. Okay, so I see them being a bit reserved and the reason why they're reserved or the reason why they're not putting as much effort is because they feel like there's been either a pattern. This could be a person that you, you've known for a while. Um, this can also be almost like with the star card. I feel that for some of you guys, it's a revelation. So it could be finding out or starting to have emotions or feelings towards someone that you've known for a while. Maybe you didn't see them that way. Um, however, the way they're viewing the situation here is they're a bit reserved because they feel like there's something within you uh, that you're not being completely honest about or that you're not being very straightforward with. It could be, you know, player tendencies or that's how they view you anyways. Uh, like a person that likes to uh, move on very quickly or a person that is only interested in the physical aspect. We do have the Knight of Wands here. Uh, so that's how they're viewing the situation. However, with the Four of Cups, I feel like you give them mixed signals, Aries. Like you will let them know you're kind of interested, but then you pull your energy back. And it could be, again, like I said, ego and pride being involved, like you wanting them to kind of chase you as well. Um, but it's giving them mixed signals with the seven of cups. It's like, okay, you know what? Aries is probably dealing with other people or they're not being like honest with what they feel for me. So I'm not going to sit there and just wait on them. So they're weighing their options to be honest with you, Aries. I feel that for both of you guys, especially cause you got the star card, it could represent you're getting a lot of attention and that's kind like, don't let that get 
in your head, Aries, because I feel that this person has a lot of options. Seven of Cups here um, with the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Cups, like they have options. Four of Cups indicates to me they're not interested in those options. They're interested in you. However, if you continue giving them the hot and cold type of energy, they're, they're going to pull their energy back and they're going to start to entertain these options here. Because they're not looking for something temporary. They're not looking for something fey weather. They're looking for something stable. Ten of Cups. And the judgment making a decision. So again, if you feel like it's you the one that keeps like being hot and cold with them, you have to be a straight shooter and decide what it is that you want. Because I feel that you, there may be an opportunity here with Star Card and Judgment. They're talking about, you know, there are certain planets that are aligning in both your favors. And I feel that for some of you guys, this revelation, like I said, uh, they keep telling me a revelation. So it could be like finding out that you have deeper feelings for someone that you probably only see in them as friends at some point. Um, and they're feeling the same way. But again, four of cups indicating they feel like you're not really into it or you're not really wanting to move forward. If you continue on this path, they will entertain the other possibilities or the other choices that they have, um, as well as with the Seven of Swords. This is a person that is extremely private in matters of their heart. Uh, so it could be that you're not even aware that they have options um, because they're very reserved. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, for others of you, this revelation or this new connection uh, could be an Aquarius Earth energy as well. We have five of pentacles here. Uh, Cancer, sorry, not Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo energy here. Aquarian energy there. Uh, we have fire energy here as well. And uh, air. We pretty much have all the signs. You guys know I don't really do the sign thingy. It's more of an energy. Um, so again, I feel that both of you guys right now are contemplating options is what they're saying. Um, but I feel that the one person that you're being pulled towards the most is feeling the same type of energy. They're feeling the same vibration. And they're, uh, again, like I said, like trying to figure out if you're going to actively pursue them or if you're going to just keep entertaining other people. They will quickly move on um, is what I'm seeing here. If, if you don't allow... Or put your pride to the side and just be straightforward and be honest. Because I feel that there could be a missed opportunity, a missed opportunity for something great or for something that is long lasting or could potentially become something long lasting. So uh, I hope that this helps you guys. I hope it gives you guidance, understanding, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.